guys, what's going on? My cool dogs and my wild cats out there in the real world. All right, so Dave Waffle here, it's IO time, and man, have I got a ridiculous story about a guy that got in a car accident, and apparently he's blaming Snapchat for the whole ordeal. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are gonna be like, okay, wait, uh, common sense, like, how do you blame Snapchat for something like that, when it's probably your fault. So basically, the whole story is, there's this girl named Crystal McGee, and she accidentally hit Wentworth Manor. And this is because she was going 100 miles per hour, so she could take a Snapchat at the speed filter sort of thing, which apparently clocks your speed. Now this all happened in Atlanta, and now the man has been taken to the hospital, and he's been diagnosed with permanent serious brain damage. Now the thing is, I thought at first it was going to be Christina that was going to try to sue Snapchat, but it looks like this Maynard guy is like, nope, I am totally blaming them. Because he thinks the program facilitated McGee's excessive driving. Okay guys, I'm just going to lay the freaking deal down here. I don't think it's a great idea that you should be really suing Snapchat. But what kills me most about this thing is that you can't really call it an accident. Because if you ask me, this McGee girl, she should be struck with driving with negligent and honestly, intent to kill. You know you're not supposed to look at your phone. You know that it distracts you and if you're gonna use that vehicle inappropriately, you might accidentally kill somebody. And I'm not even gonna call it an accident because you know not to use your cell phone. And what kills me the most is that there were three people in the car with this McGee girl and not a single one of them said, yo, put down your phone. Now Maynard's lawyer is saying that the product is a liability case because Snapchat has put something very dangerous on the market without any warnings or safeguards. Now as for Snapchat, they haven't made any statement on the lawsuit, but apparently they have changed a warning label before it saying not to use while driving. Now as for McGee, she was hospitalized for her injuries, but she even decided to post a photo of her, I guess, in like the ambulance saying lucky to be alive. So when it comes to my opinion, I definitely think that Snapchat shouldn't be putting these sort of things out there, or maybe they should actually think before they do because let's be real what are you really gonna use a speedometer for okay maybe freaking snowboarding but you know what you shouldn't be on your freaking phone while you're going down a freaking hill because you're just as dangerous you're going fast keep your eyes where you're going end of story but on the same note people shouldn't be using it when they're driving or going at excessive speeds and they need to be totally held accountable anyways guys I want to know your thoughts down there in the comments below thanks for watching I'm Dave Wobble it's been awesome hanging with you guys I'll see you guys in the next video bye